So a fun fact actually that I read about this aquarium. I'm currently in Atlanta, Georgia, outside the Georgia Aquarium. I'm so excited to go on inside. I've heard this place is amazing. We are staying at the Hyatt Regency and we actually got our aquarium tickets as part of a hotel package and they worked out a lot cheaper. A lot of the hotels that are nearby the aquarium have that package. So definitely check that out if you are staying nearby. We're literally a 10 minute walk from here, which is great. And I think it worked out almost half price to get it included and wrapped up with the hotel package. Oh my gosh, check out all of these jellyfish. We thought this was a digital screen as we were walking in, but these are real jellyfish. Oh my gosh. So we can get close to them, but we can't touch them because they're behind the glass in the water. These ones don't have like long tentacles or anything. They're just like floating heads. Wow, this place is massive. So they have all these different areas you can head off to. So Ocean, Ocean Voyager, then we have Dolphin Coast over here. There's a Cold Water Quest, a River Scout. Um, we've got um, an area back over the far side then that's for sharks, which looks great too. Predators of the Deep. So yeah, we're just trying to figure out where to go first. We are going with Dolphin Coast to start. They've got some digital screens here now. There is also a dolphin show. There's a dolphin show and a sea lion show. They have QR codes as you come in that you can scan and register for the show. So we have done that. It's not like in Epcot when you were trying to find the dolphin for ages. <laughs> So a fun fact actually that I read about this aquarium, uh, prior to this aquarium being built, the Living with the Seas, you know where the Nemo ride is in Epcot, that was the largest salt water tank in the world. And when this aquarium was built in 2005, it overtook Epcot for that record. My gosh, look. <laughs> So you can see you can scan here to reserve your seats for the show and you just put in your email address and they send you a confirmation. We're heading into Predators of the Deep next. They've got explanations of all the different types of sharks. Tiger shark, great hammerhead and then over here we have the sand tiger. Oh my gosh look! Wow! That's a big shark. <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> They've got lots of videos and interactive areas where you can touch the screens, learn more. It's really clever. So we've made it in for the 10.15 Sea Lion Show. The show is so good! So, so good. I just took a little clip at the very end when they were saying goodbye. Uh, you're not, uh, they don't allow filming during the actual show itself. But it was so good. Those sea lions were so cute. They were so, so cute. So next up is going to be Cold Water Crest. Oh my gosh, look at all the starfish. So these are Japanese spider crabs. They are incredible. I've never seen anything like that before. They're crazy looking crabs. Oh, and look at these fish. And then look, it's an anemone, right? 
They've got beluga whales here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they seem really playful. Sea dragons, they are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> you're just talking to the penguins, Rachel. Oh, it's up to you. Oh. <laughs> I said he's going to jump, and I said, oh, you missed it. Oh. I did say hi to the penguin. Oh, you should say hi. <laughs> they have a little crawl space you can go through. Um, looks a bit small for us, but there's some kids going through it. Oh, this guy looks like he wants to jump in. The water temperature is between 62 and 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Next up is Ocean Voyager. Yeah, I actually grew up here in my garden. There's another one. Yeah. Yeah. We are standing now on a moving walkway that you do just stand still on and it takes you through the tunnel. Oh my gosh, look at that stupid. Was it a mountain? That's huge. It's a manta ray, those giant ones that we saw in the tank. So this is the first area I've seen where you can actually touch the fish. Um, they are apparently not feeling super social right now because they have just been fed, but when they come up onto this ledge here, uh, you can see you're able to do a two finger touch. We got one up on the ledge, Rachel got her touching. <laughs> You can see they've done a good job at making the aquarium nice and festive. From up here as well, you can see the different areas. We've now covered everywhere. Uh, we're just gonna go back into the Dolphin Coast area to see the dolphin show that we've reserved. And then I think we're done at the aquarium. So I'm excited to see the show. It's definitely getting busier now. It is just approaching quarter past 11. The aquarium actually opened at 8 a.m. today, which is really good. We didn't make it here though until probably about half nine. We've made it over to the gators. I don't know about you, but I find gators a lot creepier than sharks. Because <laughs> they stare at you. This guy's just swimming on the spot down here. <laughs> We've made it into the theater for the dolphin show. So impressive that they have this massive theater inside and they can do these water shows inside. The show was amazing. We're now just exiting out through the gift shop. It is getting super busy, so highly recommend if you are coming here. Come here early. Like I said, they open super early, so if you want to avoid the crowds, definitely come here early.
have just come into the world of Coca-Cola. We're heading straight on into a show. Um, I guess that's how you start the tour, which is cool. The guy that was out the front was so funny, uh, but he was telling us we're gonna get to taste up to 150 different flavors of Coke. Um, he told us we're not gonna be the same <laughs> when we leave here, so that's exciting. <laughs> also, it seems very appropriate to be here in the build up to the holidays. Well, we're gonna flip your hair if you like smart water. Golden PT. <laughs> Oh yes, my friends. Gotta believe it, it's Coca-Cola. Welcome to the world of Coca-Cola! Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, so this is the vault where it has the only written recipe for Coke. Oh my gosh! At the heart of Coca-Cola, there is a secret. What's the secret, Rachel? So Peachtree Street is actually where our hotel is. How can you miss that? It's where the original pharmacy was that sold Coca-Cola. That's so funny. So it says, rumor has it, only two people know the secret. Their identities are never revealed. They can never travel together. Each person only knows half the formula. For $25 million, which is just short of half a billion a day. But is the only thing kept in the vault? Two people have access to it, sadly. I'm not one of them. So apparently, the only copy of the handwritten Coke recipe is inside here. Next up, we're going to check out the milestone of refreshment. It's mad that someone just like made up the recipe and then sold it in their pharmacy and now it's like the biggest, probably like the most commercialized, most consumed product <laughs> ever, one of them anyway. It's mad. Oh wow. Oh, he, he died shortly after as well. That's mad. Like imagine not knowing like what, how big that became. So this guy created the script, so the font for Coca-Cola. And this is like the porcelain uh, syrup dispenser that they used to use to make the Coca-Cola. Oh my gosh, the first offering to be consumed in space. That's so cool. That's mad. I can imagine these things are worth a fortune now. It's just so iconic and collectible. I still can't believe that's gone into space, that's mad. Yeah. Yes, yeah, like you'd get your bottle and then you'd use the little bottle opener. Italia 90. Oh my gosh. There's so much memorabilia stuff, collectible stuff, all the different adverts. I bet this is a sight to see for anyone who enjoys pin trading. Through the Olympic Games, Coca-Cola provide the primary venue for pin trading. Bottle Works is up next. So it looks like it's actually all working machinery. There are people back there working away. We've just come into the pop culture section now. You can create your own Coke art. Oh my gosh, look at all these things made out of Coke products. Oh my god, that hat looks cool. Oh, look at that alligator. That's dirty. Dinosaur, little car. We'd like to say we're here. We're bringing it back. The original taste of Coca-Cola returns as Coca-Cola Classic. <laughs> so apparently when they changed the formula there was outrage. <laughs>
I think for me and probably for most people, the most iconic Coke advert has to be the one with the truck and Santa Claus. It's my absolute favorite. When that song comes on the TV and I see the ad for the first time, that's when I know it's really like the build up to Christmas. So this couch was used in American Idol. It was in the Red Room on American Idol season four, 2005. So some famous butt cheeks have been on this couch. Scent Discovery. Sounds interesting. They're also actually doing a meet and greet with the famous polar bear. Uh, we're not gonna go over to it, it is quite busy, but uh, he comes out during the day. They have set times that he comes where you can get a photo with him, which is pretty cool. We are just waiting now to head into the scent discovery area. It seems like this is a popular place and they don't let too many people in at a time. This is really cool. So you smell it, you squeeze little things, smell the air, so have a little guess of what you think it is. What do you think? Some sweet. That's <laughs> this one was marshmallows. Let's try this one. Any guesses? It says fruity, so we know it's fruity. It smells like a sweet that I've had before. Oh. Is it, is it melon? Yeah, like watermelon. Lime! Oh my gosh, what? Oh yeah. <laughs> Lemon. That's very basic. That was lime. No, I think this is watermelon. That makes sense. Mm. A pineapple. <laughs> so when you're overloaded with smells, you come and smell some of the coffee to like cleanse your nose palate. <laughs> Let's see if we can get one right. Come on, Rachel. Strawberry. Strawberry. That what you said? Yeah. Raspberry. You were so close. Okay, we're now on to spicy. Oh, you know what it is? You're not going to say? Cheeky. Okay. Cinnamon. Is it cinnamon? We better get it. smells like hot tamales. Cinnamon. Okay. Our noses aren't broken. <laughs> this is so weird because in uh, real life, this board just appears white. But uh, we were just told to use our camera to look at it. And then it's like a multicolor rainbow. So we decided to pop over just so we could see the polar bear. And then um, we accidentally ended up in line. And we're now the last people that are in the line. So we were like, well, we might as well wait now. Get a picture of the polar bear. It seems like um, it's moving very quick as well, which is really good. <laughs> oh, Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> This is the sour plum flavor from China. This is so bizarre. It smells like barbecue sauce. The guy told us as we were coming through to make sure we tried this one. It is the sour plum from China and it smells and tastes like barbecue sauce. So bizarre. Rachel's got herself some ginger ale. Have you tried it? Nice. Okay. Uh, we have two. You guys, they have the famous Beverly here. Yeah. I like that. That's the um so it's from Korea and it is minute made light cheese. Mm. That's good, it's really refreshing. Okay, we've got to a station that's a little bit less crowded, so we're gonna try all of them in this one. Fanta blue raspberry, okay. That's very blue. It's nice. Oh, that tastes like something. I don't know, it's really nice though. Grapefruit soda water. It's nice. Oh, that is nice. Okay, we're doing well with this one. Well, we know what Sprite tastes like. You still want to try some? <laughs> Just to complete the collection. <laughs> and then this is Bonbon Anglis, Madagascar. It tastes like something I've had at Epcot before. Oh really? It smells like bubble gum. Yeah, that's what it is. Whoa. I'm excited for the cream soda. Oh, it really is red. <laughs> oh, look at that smile. That is good. It just tastes like regular cream soda. I've never heard of this before. Tap? What's it taste like? I thought it was very good. <laughs> okay, well I have to try it after Rachel's reaction. I'm gonna have to have a little bit of Fanta just to finish off. Okay, we're gonna try the freestyle machine. These are just like the ones that were at Disney. I don't know if they're any different, but everybody that's been coming up has been getting Bangs root beer. Right, just gonna get some Fanta. Well, fruit punch is probably Fanta exotic. I guess so. Rachel was looking for the Fanta exotic. 
so we're just going to try the free ones. <laughs> this is less of a taste, it's more of a full glass. Right, I'm going to try the root beer because literally everybody that's come up ahead of us has gone for this Bangs cream soda root beer. Oh wait, no, that's not what they had. What'd you say? Oh, Bard. This is not root beer. I, I thought it was Bangs. Oh yeah, but people were getting this vanilla one. Try original root beer first? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rachel went to everywhere. I mean, it's okay. We're gonna finish off with a classic original Coke. Even though we are Coke Zero drinkers, this feels like you kind of have to while you're here. Wash down that root beer. Cheers. So I think I have to say, original Coke is the best thing we've had. <laughs> but I guess that's why the original recipe was so popular, right? It's so good. What do you think, Rach? Original Coke? Yeah. It can't beat the original. Okay, so I think we're gonna head on out in now to the Coca-Cola store, which is essentially the way out. I think once you go into the store, you can't re-enter. Um, so we're gonna have a little look at the merchandise and then head out. All right, let's go check out the merchandise. I do really like Coke merchandise. I have always liked, liked checking it out when I'm in Coke Cool at Disney. But just in general, I just think it's nice merchandise, especially the Christmas stuff that they do. Oh, I like this gray jumper, that's nice. Oh, look at these blankets. They look so, so cozy. How much are the jumpers? $50. Oh, I like these ones. They're basically like the can. Oh, they are cool. Oh, they're, yeah, yeah can glass. $4.95. Look at the polar bear, like souvenir cool. Okay, this is where I could end up spending money because this Christmas decoration is so cute. They've got USB flash drives. They've got holders for your earphones. They've got earphones. Oh, look at the, the pop sockets are cool. They are cool. Oh, I like them. They have a Coca-Cola spirit jersey. They're $75, pretty much the same as the Disney pricing. They have a big selection of bags. Oh, the Coke can one is nice. And that is it. We're finished with the World of Coca-Cola Tour. We've got some merchandise to take home. Uh, they were offering a, what was it, like a little surprise mystery box at the end. Rachel was like, yes! <laughs> but I said no. It was like $10 or something and we heard people as we were leaving that were like, I can't believe you wasted $10 on this. So I'm not sure the mystery boxes are worth it. Uh, but yeah, it was really good overall. I really enjoyed the, um, the scent one where we were like smelling. Yeah. That was probably one of my favorite areas. But yeah, it was nice tasting all the Coke products as well. And I think like it was decent for the price. It was like $20 each. And you can like book your time in advance, you know, to queue and stuff. But it was busy, like it was getting very loud towards the end, especially when we were in trying all the Coke. So again, like with the aquarium, maybe come early. If you could come and hit the aquarium for 8 a.m. and then get over to the Coke, the world of Coke, like right after, you'll probably be doing pretty well. That's gonna do it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.